Hello, I am Pete Gerlach. Uh, I am a veteran trauma recovery therapist. I've been doing that since 1981. I've been a psychotherapist since 1979. I have been recovering from my own childhood trauma since 1986, and I have worked with scores and scores of other people who were traumatized as children. <clears throat> what I mean by trauma is uh, parental neglect, abuse, and abandonment. Those traumas in kids who are under six years old approximately cause a protective reaction in most young children that can be called personality fragmenting. To better understand what I'm about to say in this video, first uh, view this video, which will introduce you and tell you more about personality fragmenting and what it means. It's universal, it's widespread, it is not being crazy. Not. I make this video because the other day I saw on YouTube some well-intentioned clips by people talking about how to minimize or reduce panic attacks. In my experience as a trauma recovery therapist, many people misunderstand excessive fear and excessive worry and they don't know what to do about it. And much advice that aims to help people with that is misplaced or even harmful. I want to offer you a different way of looking at excessive fear or panic or worry here in this video. Lots of people suffer from excessive fear and worry, perhaps yourself. These uh, stem from a normal, wired-in, protective, primitive reflex in our uh, lizard brains, our most primitive brains, to protect ourselves from danger, perceived or actual danger, to survive. Fear is a normal, helpful reaction, unless it's chronic or exaggerated. One of six wounds that young children develop if they are traumatized is excessive fear and worry. There is a way to reduce that. I'm about to sketch how. Some of the normal personality parts that are brought into being by feeling unsafe and terrorized as a young child live uh, against all logic. They live in the past. These parts of your personality still believe any moment, any day, some terrible thing, some a really fearful person is going to come in and do something very, very painful. They still believe that, even though it is obviously a different time and they are an older, wiser person. doesn't matter. They're living in the past. Several normal personality subcells that cause excessive fear and anxiety are a pessimist, whose special job is to see the worst possible outcome of any situation, a cynic subself who believes that people really are behaving only for their own selfish interests and that things can't improve and, or be better, and one or several scared children. Most people that I've worked with as a trauma recovery therapist have had uh, one or several scared inner children of different ages. Some are very, very young, uh, meaning under one year developmentally. Some are three, some are seven, some are 11. It's not uncommon to have several terrified inner children who are living in the past and are hypersensitive to perceived or actual danger. When they perceive uh, or believe some terrible thing is likely to happen or is happening. They go from quiet to
to act you in a heartbeat, in a flash. When they do that, these scared, terrified personality subcells and the cynic um, and the worrier, who is another subself, someone who worries all the time, what if? Um, those subcells go from quiet to active instantly and they f take over your true self and they flood you with thoughts and emotions and hormones that cause a fear reflex. Your heartbeat can increase, you can start to sweat, your thoughts can become disorganized, you can feel a sense of panic um, and mental disorganization and lose your grounded serenity and clarity. Your true self gets taken over by these well-meaning, protective, normal personality subselves. Once you are aware of that, you can do something effective to reduce it in your life. A way that works for many, many people once they become aware of it is called parts work, working with the parts of your personality. I've described that in a series of videos. Let me just quickly outline how it works. First, review the concept of a fragmented personality and normal, underline normal, not pathological, normal personality parts. Second, identify your unique personality parts. There's a video that shows you how to do that and a related article in my nonprofit educational website in lesson one. Identify your subcells. In particular, identify the subcells that bring you excessive and or chronic worry, meaning anxiety, and fear or terror. Identify the parts of your subcell of your personality that bring you those protective reactions. Notice, you are not afraid. Parts of you are afraid. It makes a difference. Other parts of you are confident, calm, strong, resilient, and resourceful, and know how to deal with the perceived or actual danger. The challenge here is to not get taken over by the subcells who are scared and pessimistic and skeptical. The challenge here is to get them to recognize and trust there are other parts of your personality who are very competent and reliable at handling any danger, at least the dangers that, were within, that are within your control. Identify your subcells and patiently learn to work with each of the scared and anxious subcells <clears throat> and the cynic and the pessimist and the worrier, W-O-R-R-I-E-R, -R -E to begin to get them to trust your true self, your adult personality self, your wise, caring, spiritual subself, if you believe in that. As they do that, over time, they will react less and your experience of fear, anxiety, and worry will go down. I expect you to be skeptical about that. That's a normal protective response. See my video, which is part of a collection of videos that will inform you on your marvelous personality subselves. So see these videos, invest an hour or two learning what's possible to help yourself feel calmer in most life situations. And I urge you to study lesson one, which is about personality subcells and psychological wounds, how to prevent them in yourself and people you care about. There's a lot you can do to bring down excessive or chronic fear. Try it out. Thanks for watching.